So I'm Dr Fiona Simpson. I'm a senior fellow of the Queensland Head and Neck Cancer Centre. Um, my lab is funded by the National Breast Cancer Foundation and the PA Hospital Research Foundation. So if you put all that together, you might guess that we work in advanced cancer research. Um, my PhD and my first postdoc were in basic cell biology and cellular trafficking. But when I was at the Scripps Research Institute, I was expecting my first daughter and my mother got terminal um, lung cancer. She never smoked, she never drank. Um, it was really frustrating to be in one of the world's top research institutes and not be able to do anything to help her except maybe explain why it was happening to her. Um, so when I came here to the TRI, Ian Fraser gave me the opportunity to start my own research programme and he said do something translational. So for me it means actual application of the research. So in our instance, taking our laboratory findings and having clinical trials in the patients and actually moving it towards patient care. That's what translation means to me, using your findings. Okay, so, so with, with any uh, translational research, most research does not end up in clinical practice. So for every 100 great ideas, only 1% uh, of them will end up uh, in clinical practice. So it's our uh, obligation to try and pick those ones which will be successful. What we've found with the Head and Neck Clinic that over 95% of people are more than happy to be involved in clinical trials. And not only are they involved in the trials, but they want to be involved in trials. And as an example of that, some of our proof of principle studies have been you know, a little bit invasive for the patients, but we've had no problems recruiting patients. Uh, they're very enthusiastic and they want to see outcomes, if, even if not for them, uh, for society. When you've done a lot of years of basic research and you've published your papers, there's a point where um, you're proud of your science and you found some elegant things, but you actually want to see it be useful instead of just a line on your CV. The frustration of going through that with my mother and being able to tell her everything about it, but not being able to help her, really showed me the frustration that everybody feels. When you've got somebody you love that's dying from cancer, the frustration and anger is enormous. We just happen to have an opportunity to maybe change that and do something about it. So our lab's really motivated by getting revenge. I, th I think the changes that have come to our work is not just through engagement with the patients, but also with the clinicians. Because when you do basic research and you're developing therapies, you have an idea of how that's going to go into patients and how it's applied. When you actually interact on a weekly basis with the consultants and the patients themselves, you realise that that's not how the system works. And actually whatever you find with your research has to fit what they do, has to fit clinical care, um, and also it has to be something that's chosen and tolerated by the patients. And so I think we've really adapted our work from pure scientific research to a more designed research for translation. In terms of uh, surgery, what we do sometimes is, is, is a, uh, it's a necessary surgical evil, basically. So a lot of the operations we do are, are quite good. Um, the morbidity is not too bad. The patients recover well, you can't tell. Uh, but there are some that are very destructive and it, it's, it's by necessity to save them. And so for me, it's extremely exciting if I can get involved in a project where we can decrease that morbidity, uh, even if it's to shrink a tumour so we can do a lesser operation, mm -hmm. uh, then that's the future and it will benefit patients greatly. Someone like Fiona is fantastic. So whenever I question her on any aspect, she's already got, she's got an answer. She's thought about it. Uh, she can show me the experimental data. Um, we often email each other at 11 o'clock at night when I've sent her a question, she uh, responds straight away and if she hasn't thought about it, she thinks about it in great detail. And uh, the proof of principle study which we did uh, for her uh, was, was the first in a human where a surface receptor has been moved for the purposes of treating a cancer. So this is really exciting stuff. The change now doing translation is the teams of people that I interact with I think there must be about 15 different specialities that they each have. And sometimes I just feel like a spider in the middle of the web, trying to keep all the strings together and stop the web from collapsing. So 
it's been possibly the hardest thing I've done in my life and that's um, <laughs> not a small thing but the interaction with the patients whenever you get up in the morning and think this is too hard and then you have an interaction with the patient you think well what's too hard and you just keep going one foot in front of the other keep on swimming is our uh, catch call.